I can speak Yoruba and Pidgin English. So in school, there are a lot of people that are other colors, and I would like to talk to people in my own language like some other people can, but I can't. CCH camp started when we were delivering our meals program last year during COVID that a lot of the parents said that they would like to have something that their kids can go to that explored the outdoors, was chocked full of activities, and that uh, it wasn't something that financially they couldn't, they couldn't do. We're a very nimble organization that uh, reacts to community needs, so we put our heads together and we came up with a Black, Indigenous and People of Colour day camp. It's fun so far. Everyone's very nice. You get to play all types of fun games, go swimming, go to the park, draw, do activities, dance lessons. You get to see other people like you, people uh, like people in your culture. It's just really fun and exciting. Especially in Halton, people were saying that their kids were the ones that could go to day camp, that they were the only ones. So we wanted to put together a day camp that's chock full of experiences and also that there's a lot of kids that look like them that are in the camp. As well, the entire full-time staff of day camp counselors are black or indigenous or people of color and they are high achievers. I just like working with kids. Uh, I mean, it improves my leadership skills and it's just fun just watching them just do activities and all that. I had a lot of role models when I was their age, so I feel like I'm just returning the favor and just helping them uh, being able to open up and open up to me or other uh, counselors and volunteers about their problems. This is the CCH Community and Harmony Garden. They come out here and they do weeding. Halton Environmental Network uh, works with them. And on Thursdays, they're gonna be doing harvesting and then on Fridays, we have the chef that comes in and the chef teaches them what to do with those vegetables that they've harvested from the garden. So they can get to see the growing cycle from garden plot to table. In addition to all of this, we have Food for Life that comes in and gives a free grocery basket to the parents. And they also provide snacks to the, uh, to the campers. So the whole thing is a win-win for everybody and it's free of charge. That's why we designed this camp, is to be uplifting, empowering, and finances should never be a barrier to, uh, to having those kinds of experiences. I feel like I belong. Everyone is welcoming and pretty much hugged by like a warm blanket when you're there. It's really fun. Wa camp.